One time Trump campaign manager and scummy opportunist Paul Manafort has been indicted on 12 counts of being a generally disgusting political operative. He was snared in Robert Mueller's dragnet along with his barnacle boy, longtime alleged money launderer and power concentrator Rick Gates. If the indictment is to be believed, these two bounced around between Eastern Europe and the U.S. collecting fat paychecks, putting them through the international spin cycle, and living what the indictment calls a lavish lifestyle. Tax free, of course. Bing! In today's presidential quest, institutional and dynastic teams are hermetically sealed with contents and advisors tucked inside with virtually no penetration points. The Trumps were new to politics, so suspected con men like Gates and Manafort were drawn like maggots to a wound and were willing to bet this environment was agitated enough to produce a non-traditional president. Manafort apparently met Ivanka and Jared and offered his services for free. And who could turn down that kind of a bargain when people like Corey Lewandowski were playing HR shoving stuff with female reporters? It is no surprise the D.C. cesspool produced self-interested creatures like Paul Manafort and his trusty sidekick who weaseled their way into the Trumposphere with silver tongues and empty promises. The campaign obviously should have better vetted its operatives, but here we are. The first stop on the Indictment Express. So who's on board next? It will be no surprise if Manafort and Gates turn on each other and then turn on everyone else. And Mueller's team is hoping their overwhelming instincts for self-preservation and greed trump loyalty and country.